And we're back to the Dread Squad 2500. And today, we're still fighting uh, all the first rounds. It's gonna be fun. Actually, first rounds are some of my favorite rounds. That's why I want to keep on doing the best two out of two out of three. Uh, Alright, so today, we're gonna have up next... Uh, let's see, we're gonna have uh, Jenna, uh, Jenna Chain <laughs> versus Bobilico... Bobilico Tony... Tony... Ro Coma. <laughs> alright, alright, well, there we go. Alright, so let's, let's begin the battles for today. Excited. Uh, to see how all, st all this stuff turns out. Yeah. Oh, and Bilbilco is the one that I really liked. It was this, like, mech kind of machine from some kind of anime he was telling me about. Oh, gosh, I hope his hydrofoils are gonna work. <clears throat> Hopefully he's gonna get, uh, out of the water there. Oh, good, he has balloons, too. Okay, because last time he submitted the co cockroach, and it just went straight underwater. And it appears like, yeah, you know, those missiles, missiles are coming around. And he's blown up on the backside, but he's very maneuverable, though. And he's got some decent armoring. Didn't even see what, what Jenny has up there. I mean, I guess we'll find out. Just want to see how much damage this, uh, Bobilico <laughs> can, can, uh, can withstand. He's got some good anti-air cannons, though. That's pretty decent. And so it seems. He's got a whole, whole host of guns on the front. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, and a lot of them seem to be firing. Alright, so let's take a look at this guy in the sky as he's just kind of flying around and get a feel. Oh, it looks like a lot of flyers are getting stuck up in space, kind of. Alright, there's a, one missile coming down, but yeah, we got tracers all around. Tracer's flying back and forth. Definitely a good, uh, good thing to add to your ammo is like a tracer every now and then. I don't do that though, but <laughs> I guess, you know, if you if you want to do good, you want to add tracers to your ammo. Alright, and um, this is a really cool cruising ship. Looks like something out of Star Wars, like like a land speeder type, but it's it's actually like a, a flying type. So, are any of the cannons, are they getting in range of any of this stuff here? Bobilico is just going down. Oh, there's like one cannon firing on the side. Interesting. Interesting, alright. Well, I'm not seeing too much. It seemed like it was more of like an Alpha Strike ship, Gen ship. So, alright, I'm just gonna let this, um... Yeah, just a few cannons firing at, at each other. Not really too much offense here. Very, very lacking in offense, but very high in creativity. Yeah, let's see what, what the damages are at. Hey, everyone's at 100%. <laughs> alright, alright. Let it continue on. Oh, here's, here's a, here's a, um, here's a straight-on attack. Let's see if this does anything. We got some, some connects up there. But, yeah, they're getting bounced off. <laughs> you see that? They're getting bounced off. Oh, oh well. Alright, it seems like Jenny is getting some good connects now. Most of his cannons are, are lining up and they're firing at, at the at the Bobilico. And and a lot of the missiles are actually being launched from behind him there. And they're just kind of getting around the backside of, of, uh, of this guy here. So that's, that's uh, I mean, they're just nicking away. There's no anti-missile system on this ship. So, they keep blowing up what seems to be like ammo barrels back here? What's back here? There's like... Oh, there's ammo! Yeah, alright, so that's the whole ammo supply in, in the backside. And it just keeps blowing up repeatedly. And let's take a look at the damages here. Oh my gosh, everyone's still just like... <laughs> there's a lot of repair bots going on here. Wow! So, he, uh, alright. Well, it seems like... Torny uh, Coma is getting pinned down repeatedly. But, uh, but everyone's repairing faster than they're getting damaged still. How about that? Yeah. So first round was a draw. I tell you what though, next next tournament I'm gonna make like a mother of offense ship because like, oh, 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 there we go, we got some damage, uh, oh, flying up there. Uh, the gen is taking on some damage. How much damage was that? 95%. Okay, actually no, it's on this guy here. Never mind. Alright, so the alpha strikes are pretty interesting, pretty exciting. And, uh, oh darn, yeah, so there's decoy ammo barrels right at the back of uh, Bill Bullico. <laughs> Whatevs. And, uh, oh, something broke off in the water there. Someone's cannon, someone's cannon snapped off. Alright, and everyone, okay, now, now assume, assume the strafing and firing position. I think, I think Torny, uh, Coma is gonna be able to get repaired in time. Oh, he's got smoke, too. Yeah, see, missiles hitting from behind. But, yeah, those la laser designated receivers are, um, I mean, like, yeah, now, now we got the whole mountain block thing. Alright, so I'm gonna let this, uh, let these guys fight it, fight it out. For a bit more. And a real comical series of events. Looks like the, looks like Bill Bolico just rode up this mountain taking his feet off. Uh, <laughs> and now he's flying a little bit. I know he's got a spin blade in there. He's probably hovering now because he, he weighs a lot less since he's lost a lot of his body work. He's kind of flying. He's gonna smash into this mountain over here. Fairly entertaining. <laughs> this is like and we got we got that guy up there shooting and firing away with all his shields on the bottom. It's pretty good. So you feel, so I guess Jen was going for the height advantage. Wow, this is a really pretty ship. Oh, it's too close. Yeah, he was going for the height advantage. He doesn't have any shields on the top of his ship, so any kind of satellite would probably take him out really good. But all right, so we can't have two draws in a row. 
I'm just gonna, I don't know. Let's see, what's what's the damage report? Yeah, it seems like it seems like Jen's ship is is superior because he's the one that stays at 100% most of the time. So he's probably gonna be the one that moves on to the next round. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, because he's yeah he's got superior firing ability when his cannons do reload and and, uh, and light him up. And Jenna Chain has it. Yeah, his fast speeder just sending tons of shots from his two side cannons, just broadsiding this uh, this fellow over here. He's got superior speed, su superior dodging and agility. He's not really getting hurt at all, and he's delivering lots of uh, lots of punishment down there. So, all right, Jen is moving on to the next round. Congratulations on your on your speedy uh, on your on your speed tank, really. All right. So now we have a bit of an interesting matchup here. We have Team Viper from Scotland versus Crimson Souls from Germany. Oh, <laughs> Crimson Souls looks like it's a satellite laser, judging by that impact. And, oh, the EMP shots are messing uh, with Crimson Souls. I'm not sure if he's supposed to fly like this, because uh, in testing I've seen him fly straight up. So he might be disabled already by, by Team Viper. Uh, Viper is coming around for another attack run, so it seems. Ooh. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. What, what are you what are you doing? Oh. So it seems like he might have been a little bit fragile. Let's see what we have in here. Yeah, it looks like very powerful lasers. Many, many powerful lasers. Probably to be shooting downwards, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like they're shooting downwards. So unfortunately, his balance got thrown off. But Team Viper might be flying off the field. <laughs> like, where are they at? What's going on? They're like way, they're like way over here. All right. Well, let's see what kind of attack run. Okay, they must have a gigantic attack run range then, I'm guessing. Probably like the maximum 2,000. Maybe, oh, maybe they have super long reload time. Let's see what happens here. Uh, they're going to launch some missiles. And anything else of, of any interest here? No, it seems like there's some continuous wave lasers being shot out from... Oh, there's some bombs being dropped. All right, so it looks like, yeah, Team Viper was a huge Alpha Strike force. But yeah, since I'm not seeing any, any uh, offense coming from... Oh, that's a shame. Not seeing any offense coming from, uh, <laughs> sorry, there's so many names, uh, yeah, coming from Crimson Souls. Oh, All right, well, let's do best two out of three then. I'm gonna let this play out, but yeah, best two out of three. Okay, so excited to see if the Crimson Souls Reaper can get up into the atmosphere. It looks like he's firing, uh, missiles down. If he can survive the initial volley of techs, those EMPs really took him out. That was, that was a punishing, real punishing hit, because the last round his AI got taken out at the very end and now it seems like if he can just if he can just maintain a course straight up the space he should be all right <clears throat> if he can just get his I mean he has a gigantic engine on there like the biggest engine but oh good he might be balanced enough I think his stabilizers need he needs more stabilizers he just needs more speed honestly because I remember in tournaments like this if you did a satellite death satellite you needed to have a huge amount of speed to get up in space fast enough to to uh to escape your opponent's attacks but yeah, it seems like, yeah, might be dead in the water here. He's going down into the rocks. <laughs> He's going down into the mountain here. And, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be quite impact coming from not quite space, not quite space yet. And I think he's going to shatter upon the ground. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it was a great idea, though. It was a great idea. A very awesome engine and, and very powerful. But, uh, yeah, I think he's going to take his little, like, his little knob off there. Oh, did it bounce? Oh, it didn't get hit. But, yeah, all right, so... I believe the result will be uh, will be the same here, and I, I believe Team Viper is going to move on. Yeah, because there's no offense, he's struggling. That's a shame. All right, Team Viper moves on. And here we have Delta Force, last tournament's champion versus Sky, a late I think a late tournament uh, winner or um, or contender from last time as well. So, oh, Sky's ship seems to be in the water, not doing too good, not doing too good, and he just suffered a huge volley of uh, oh, what the heck's going on there? What's going on? Oh gosh. And Delta Force, he has made improvements onto his ship. Seems like it still kept the same amount of uh, same styling. Just now, he got an updated paint scheme and uh, like like a ton more shields. Ton more shields. I'm not sure if guns are gonna work against that. Oh, and here's the Gravitron rounds, of course, as before. Wow, I'm surprised. He's the first one we've seen again with with that uh, from from last time. I'm, not many people borrowed his idea. But okay, so <laughs> this is gonna be like this is gonna be like. What the heck was was this ship even? Was was it was this ship even? What was it? I don't know. It's hard to tell. All oh, the poor thing is getting blown the heck up. Uh, all right. Yeah. So we're just gonna we're just gonna like yeah AI dead. Wow. All right. So uh, to be expected from last tournament's champion, Delta Force sits pretty up on the peaks of the mountains. 
So let's see if Skyship has any chance at stopping the Delta Force masquerade here. This is, uh... Oh, he's not firing! Oh, I guess he didn't reload. Oh, no, he's firing. There he goes, there he goes. He's, he's acquired his target. And he got EMP'd to heck, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, spun around. <laughs> oh, alright. Well, this is gonna be a repeat of last time. And, okay, so Delta Force, you move on. Delta Force, let me get a ship name too, since he's, uh... Oh, shoot, I don't wanna... I wanna miss the fight here. Yeah, let's, let's zoom out and just see exactly what he does. But it seems like, yeah, a copy of last time. Not a copy, not an exact copy. But uh, definitely an enhancement. Yeah, his guns are firing fast. Yeah, his ship's pretty elite. Bullets flying everywhere, penetrating through shields, flipping them around. Yeah, that's, that's a tough contender. So, alright. Uh, Delta Force's uh, Imperium from USA definitely moves on to the next round. And for our next chaotic fight, we have Shield Penetrators versus versus the Pendulum team. I remember Pendulum from last time, so let's see how he's going to do. Uh, let's take a look at this from the Shield Pen side. Supposedly they have lots of DACA, lots of shots that should be able to penetrate any shield. This may be a decoy here. Alright, so we got some missiles flying up. Luckily they're not hitting his own aircraft, and they were just giving it to him. Oh, but they're up against the shielded guy with lasers. Laser boat is what uh, Pendulum opted for this time. And, uh, but he's weathering. He's weathering the, the shots pretty good. Uh, some shields are failing <laughs> because his, his lasers are requiring much, much power. Uh, he's got some flares and stuff too. Not really too sure about what the, um, what the flyer is doing up, up, up there exactly, other than maybe being a decoy. But, alright, so we, uh, let's take a look at this here. What's Pendulum got cooking under the hood? He's got a few cannons and a few, uh, anti-missile lasers. A few laser cannons. I thought I saw a laser cannon on here somewhere. Maybe it was just my imagination. Maybe it is just cannons, but it doesn't seem like he's really firing much over here. Uh... Uh... That guy's not quite sunk yet. Actually, yeah, his, his other teammate's flying up there, but it looks like the main mother boat might be taken out. It's looking bad. And missiles can't seem to track uh, the flyer up there. So I don't know where I got the idea that the pendulum had a laser cannon. He doesn't have a laser cannon. He has a huge, he has a huge cram cannon on the front. And he's just, uh, oh, there we go! And he's got, he's got Team Shield Penetrate. So they're out. Uh, he's sinking health below 80%. Really just gave it to him. Those, those rounds, those cram cannon rounds, they make excellent artillery. Excellent stuff. So, uh, so he's got, he's got some magic going under there, and something's lagging out <laughs> around here, so now he's just like, got one target left to focus on, which is the flyer from Team Shield Pen. Let's take a look at this little guy here, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool ship. There you go. Dropping some bombs and some, some flares. Yeah, looking pretty decent, looking pretty decent. Alright, so, uh, he, I guess he's just gonna be a light attack craft, Mo most likely just a decoy. But I'm not sure if he's gonna have a chance to bring this guy down. Let's see, let's see the health here. Yeah, Bumblebee. <laughs> well, we'll see how they do. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that cram shot gonna hit? It actually hit. That cram shot hit. But surprisingly, resilient Bumblebee is doing just fine. So uh, we'll see. We do have some anti-air on on this vessel as well. So we'll see how that goes. Last round, Pendulum took out the little flyer with his anti-air cannons. As the flyer was passing over, he just kind of lit him up from underneath and cut right through him. As his uh, magazines kind of went up. And smoked. So, uh, oh, but well, he's doing. He's being a good decoy, though. That's that's for sure. Against the uh, the, the mothership over there. So, for Team Shield Pen. But yeah, all right. So let's see. This Alpha Strike is really where it's at. Let's see, like what those cram sh those cram shots are doing. Some serious damage over there. A huge amount of firing here as the shields are being tested on both sides. Let me get closer to this action here. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. So it seems like. The shield pen team is surviving at least this first volley. A little bit better. This cannon's barrels got taken off a little bit. Let's see if these shots... Oh, Alright, now they're kind of getting deflected. Of these shields, they, they, they uh, remain. They're intact, so we'll see how this whole thing pans out. Because now, now the mothership is, is alive on team shield pen, so we got some... We got a lot... Of, we got a big old mix-up here. These cannons aren't firing, though. I guess they're just reloading for now. Let's see what's the status on everybody here. Dread Frigate 80%. Alright, so he's probably, yeah, he's probably really messed up. There he goes. <laughs> I think he's sinking right now. I think he's going down for the counts as, yeah, he's missing this whole front end. Repair bots are busy. A whole bunch of coolant tubes are there. Engage increasers. And, uh, where's the flyer at? There he is. He's flying around. Is he gonna get taken out by the anti-air? Yeah, probably. Once, once, uh, Pendulum's 
attention gets focused somewhere else. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, those, those, those cannon shots really... Oh, but he got damage though on the side. He did take some damage. Is he gonna have what it takes to uh, take the flyer out? I think he might. Yeah, his cannons are still firing pretty well. And this might be it. Oh, game pausing, freezing a little bit. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Be cool. Be cool, man. Yeah, alright. So, I think I think this might be the end of this flyer as well. Although, Pendulum is kind of sinking a little bit. It's kind of sinking. But he is repairing. What's his status right now? Bumblebee is 87. Oh, yeah. Pendulum's doing just fine. Alright. So, this could be the end. Let's, let's take a view here. Yeah, he's kind of... It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And that's it. I think that was the time. <laughs> right there. I think that's it. Yeah. Alright. So congratulations, Pendulum. You're moving on to the next round. Let's get at least another fight in here. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was good. And for our final matchup, we have Alienoid, our last uh, last season's, uh, last tournament's third place round. Uh, th third place. Third placer. Uh, he's, he's fighting this guy over here. I, Alienoid said he went ahead and added more offense since the last time. Because last time he was very tanky. So we added some offense on here, some guns, let's see how he takes the shots. And, alright, so he added, he added shields, he has like another decoy over there, and he's sending, oh, oh, that's such a cool looking ship over there! Yeah, yeah, oh, and he's got some Graviton rounds now. Yeah, a Alienoid learned, <laughs> he learned from, uh, from when he was being tossed around by, by, um, by, by his enemy last time. Yeah, so that's, that's, uh, yeah, Graviton rounds causing a whole bunch of ruckus here, and I feel like... I feel like that's gonna be that's gonna be a game winner here, at least for this round. It's gonna be I think it's gonna be a quick two matches here. So let's take a look at that ship over there. What is that? I think it's just a decoy ship, honestly. Getting around the flanks. That's not a bad idea. Just kind of tip off your enemy entirely, get around the flanks, spin them about, launching all types of shots. And I think there's a third craft in the sky too on Team Alienoid. Yeah. All similar designs. The typical tanky style. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is quite, oh, it's quite rough. Yeah, health below 80% and sinking. Look at that, it says it right for me. I don't even have to, like, call that. It's sinking, yeah. All right. So Alienoid wins this round. One more round for today. We'll see what happens here. Wow, look at these cool ships. I really like, I really like the whole hydrofoil thing underwater for speed on ships. I definitely gotta apply stuff like that. All right, so let's see how Hyper Ballistic likes to play this game. Let's take a look at his ship. Alright, so massive, massive launching of missiles. It's pretty good. And he kind of sink. he's kind of like a like a semi semi-sub. But he's not a submarine. Uh, but he is taking extreme amounts of damage on the side flank. And now now he's spun spun around. Now it's just like <laughs> it was just like, okay. Pretty much ruins his whole plan of uh, of anything anything sly. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, I, I do think Grabton Round's gonna get nerfed. <laughs> They're definitely gonna get nerfed like a lot of you were suggesting and thinking. Cause they powerful, yeah, and the magazines are blowing up on, on Hyper Ballistic. Oh, but he's repairing really fast. That was kind of scary how fast all that popped back. Repair tentacles? No, I don't think there's any repair tentacles. I think it's all just like, it's all just a uh, little, uh, yeah, repair bots. Right, right, right. So there we go. But I tell you what though, hydrofoils are great, man. Like, hydrofoils in water, reducing all that, uh, that resistance flowing through water, raising up the hull of your ship. That's a, that's a big deal. I gotta, I gotta start looking into stuff like that. We'll, we'll apply that to future designs. Hyper Ballistic's pretty much sunk already. And these guys are just having a grand old time. Let's take a look at this flyer over here too, shall we? Let's look at this flyer and see what his deal is. Oh, it's a missile flyer. Yeah, huge, huge range. Missiles are coming in. Yep. It's almost like a satellite. Oh, I really like Team Alienoid. Really sweet. Really sweet designs. It's almost like a guarantee, too, in case his other two ships sink. So, alright. I'm pretty much gonna call it here. Alienoid wins. Here's the final results. And I will see you guys next time.